Alrighty, Legends, welcome back to another episode on the Eternals SMP Season 3. Guys, welcome. I hope you guys are well, as always. In the previous episode, we built a horse stable and we also got our very own export, which is meats. For those who missed that episode, an export on the server is something that only we can sell. So out of 15 of us or so content creators, Stumps MC is the only one allowed to sell meats. So we're going to get into farming and getting stock for that. To give you a quick rundown, I have been busy. So we've got a fair amount of pork, steak, chicken from the chicken farm that we have. If you guys saw that last episode, if not, I'll give you an update in just a moment. And a various, <laughs> a various amount of fish, a lot of fish from fishing, which I can get into a little bit later and also continue that if we need more. But I think we're good for fish and we're just going to focus on all the other meats. So, getting to that chicken farm. We've got a dual automatic chicken farm going. I might actually break out the middle here and make it all connected. So we've got four, you know, it's four slots, I suppose. And it'll be pretty efficient, I guess. And then from here, we, you guys know about our animals. So I did update you in the last episode. We're just breeding cows, feeding as much as we can in this little pen and then killing off some. Same with the pigs. Now, with a great suggestion from a great friend, shout out to you, Seb Speed, and thank you very much for your comment on that. Last episode, I posted in the comments, Seb Speed suggested to make a hoglin farm. And I thought, you know what, that is a great idea. I didn't even think of that. That'll be one great way to get pork and leather. So thank you, Seb Speed, for that. Great suggestion, my friend. And guys, we're gonna go to the nether to get the last piece that we need for the farm. So I've got all the materials for building the farm. It's a pretty simple farm, but we just need the warped fungus to complete that and some torches. I've got the torches at the base. So I can get that later. But we're going to go into the nether. Stay tuned because it's a bit of a process to get to the bottom. And there's a good chance that we, we might die. We always die in the nether. So that's why I say stay tuned. To do this, we have to go down there. Then we'll have to build ourselves back up. So we're wasting under pearl. I've got some blocks and everything else ready. I just don't know what's down there waiting for us. Gotta be careful. Alright, so found some warp fungus, but we've also got some friends to take care of. Not that many, I don't think. Hello there. Oh. Just come out of nowhere, so <laughs> I gotta be careful because I can't see them. All right, I think we're good. And we'll just grab whatever we can find around here and we'll try and get out of here as soon as we can. Might as well take some of these because they look nice. There we go. And just one more. Oh, there we go. Never mind. All right, sweet. We have all the mushrooms that we need. Now I just got to get all the way back up there. I'm going to use this old pillar that we built all the way up. And we're just going to build stairs all the way around it. This is going to take me a good 15 minutes to probably get to the top. Maybe 5 or 10, but uh, give me a short moment and I'll see you guys up there. Okay, sweet. At the top. That took, yeah, about 5 minutes or so. 5 minutes too, too long. Close that off, and then there can be a little stairwell up and down now. That is great. We have a way up and down. No more wasting ender pearls and all of that. Oop. Hey. You would not believe how many times I've almost been hit off the edge by those things. So uh, today we're going to get our revenge, and we're going to make a farm and kill as many of them as we can, and get a lot of uh, fruits from them. Okay, home sweet home. 
Oh, bro, that's crowded. Oh, yo, look at all those cows and pigs. I'm going to have to kill some because that's a bit cruel. Anyhow, back at home, we'll get some sleep. But before we do, I was making sure for the last few things, I did forget trapdoors for that farm. So we've got those. We do have some ender pearls and I want to use those because we don't have an ender chest yet. So I want to get one of those going so we can start to store all of our good stuff into it. And I guess hide it, keep it safe from all the, the thieves on the server, aka Mikey. <laughs> just kidding guys, just kidding. But uh, yeah, no seriously, I, I want to end a chest for various different reasons and I guess you could say now we're good to go with that. Where do I put it? Where did... Right there. Put it right there and then we can start to store some armor and some stuff with us. We'll make another one later for spare and then we're pretty much good with with that. Oh right, gotta sleep the night away. If I don't, phantoms, you guys get it. The phantoms will be after us. Go to sleep, guys. Go to sleep. And alright, beautiful new day. We'll grab all of this stuff. And we're heading straight in. I really do hope that's everything. It's going to suck if I have to come back for materials. And I just got to make sure we're in the right... We are on the right biome, so practically right where we are and onwards back that way is the correct biome. We might might go put it hmm we could put it right next to our portal like just here yeah let's, let's just do that, we'll put it close to our portal because we're going to be the main ones using it anyway alright guys, so you know the drill I'm going to pop you guys into a time lapse, maybe throw a song or two over that, and we're going to build ourselves a hoglin farm. Hope you guys enjoy, and I hope this all works out, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, slowly but surely, progress is coming along. I've just got to finish up with the torches. Admittedly, I just had to go back to home and come back because yes, I forgot the torches. Now, I did mention them earlier, but uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, I think if I'm correct, it's one every, you leave one, so you place one, space, place one, space, place one, space. I think that was the idea. Okay, and that is that. Too much torches for my liking, but apparently it's supposed to light it up like this. I don't know. The tutorial said so. And I did go over a couple of tutorials and they all have this. So I don't know the exact function for all the torches, but they're supposed to do something. 
And now all we're left to do is uh, test this out. And I think it was around the 80 block mark or so. So I'll just go up a little bit more and then we should be close to that range. And now we can take, take a step back and look. Oh, yo. Oh, oh, yo. Check this out, guys. It's working really well already. Uh, this is actually cool. This is actually really cool. I didn't expect it to be spawning them right away, but as soon as we got to the appropriate height, they are spawning all but instantly. Oh, there we go. Amazing. So I'll clean up the scaffolding. We could probably make a couple platforms if we wanted to, to get this more efficient. But going off what I do recall with these farms, one of these is sufficient enough. So guys, I'm going to sit here for about an hour or so, AFK, and um, for you guys, it'll be literally a couple of seconds. We'll join back and we'll check the chest to see what we've got so far. So I've been sitting up there for about, let's say, five minutes. Just come back and then it was a bit, it wasn't really spawning that much and I was wondering why. Guys, look at all of this. I didn't even think about this. I'm going to place carpet all over all of this area to avoid all these guys spawning but look how many there are how am i gonna kill them all oh no all the way up the hallway that's gonna take a lot of carpet we're still getting some spawning which is good it's still working but this is going to very much slow the spawner down so i will need to fix that just look at this Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe I... Oh my goodness. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Wow, what a mess. And there is plenty over here too. See you later. See you later. How much cook... Oh wow, look at all this cooked pork we just got. And leather from just all of that. Hello there. You want to go, do you? So I'm going to have to carpet all of this or put spring everywhere. I think carpet might be... I've got a bunch of sheep I can probably get some wool from. I don't have enough string for all of this. So yeah, I think um, carpet's going to do. Okay, change of plans. I don't have enough wool for carpet, and I don't want to spend four hours getting wool to make carpet just to cover that hallway. So we're just going to use some cobblestone. It will be ugly, but it will stop all those uh, mobs spawning. Those mobs don't spawn on slabs, thankfully. So we're just going to cover the area in slabs for now, and then we can make it look nice, turn it into some sort of nether hub later on. Maybe, yeah, way later on in the series. I have... Too much work to do here at home. I'm down to here. I don't know how this is going to work out. But we're going to have to figure it out. For something that was supposed to be so simple, come to the nether and make a quick hogland farm because they are one of the most simplest farms you can make. This has turned into a an hour project, just with the slabs, with building what we have built. I think this will probably take us far enough, I hope. So we have slabbed the area, just to give you an update. And because of here, it kind of still acts like solid blocks. Some of these guys are still spawning, so I might have to fix that and fill all of this in later. But it is, again, slabbed up, so it's definitely going to slow down all the mobs spawning down here i'll fix that another day but again guys now we're back on track so i'm going to sit here for an hour or two and we'll see how much food we can get and i'll see you guys in a second all right so it's been a few hours been afking for a little bit we're going to take a look at this oh wow holy Guys, look at all this pork. I won't even need to AFK this this farm again. This is like a, a whole season supply of pork. And we're doing pretty good for leather as well. So that's going to definitely help us out. I'll transport all of this 
back to base later but um yeah guys quick little farm afk for a few hours and i guess job well done hard to get over that though that's a lot of pork we're gonna get rich my friends we're gonna get rich if people buy our food and on that note guys a chicken farm before i went afk i did fix it so we've got it's four now basically a four by two chamber it's probably filled with more chickens than it can hold so whatever will grow and get crowded they'll just die off and then yeah going from there guys you can see how this all works that'll bring in plenty of chickens taking us to the cows and the pigs being that we don't need the pigs anymore for food supply we can definitely kill these guys off and then we can kill the cows off as well but with the pigs we don't need to breed them anymore because we got that Hogland farm. This is going to be uh, going to be something. Look how many pigs there are. Just take out a couple of them. More than half, I guess. We'll keep some, but yeah, like I said, we don't have to worry about this anymore. Just trying to stay back so I don't kill too many though. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Wow. Okay, got a couple stacks from that as well. So, yeah. Like I said. Pigs are good. Chickens, well, we don't need to worry about those. It's just going to be sheeps and cows for the manual killing. Unless I can come up with some sort of farm automatic for them. kill any more than that because I've still got to breed them and get this pen choked up filled with livestock once again. So I'll get to breeding those guys and getting more cows later. I think I need to make a bigger pen for the cows and the sheep. That might be might be the go. And up there is full so we'll pop what we can. It's not a stack we're not going to put it in there. I have more fish than I do beef. So yeah, pork's good, chicken's good. It's going to be beef and uh, the lamb now. Lamb chops. But uh, we'll get to that. Like I said, we'll get to that. It's all happening, guys. Progress is is on its way. What are you rambling on about? I put you in a boat. I gave you shade. And now you're just chilling. You got nothing to complain about, mate. Nothing. So, with all that guys, I might go quickly check on the farms, because I haven't really checked on the chests since we installed them. Just want to make sure that they aren't overflowing or anything of the sort. We have used some of the cane, and it's only a small farm, so that one will be good. Melons and pumpkins, not too bad. I suppose we won't have to worry about this for a while. Yeah, great. Cactus might be the only one. If I take it down just to one level, then it could slow the farm down a bit. But yeah, so far so good. Oh yeah, also guys, I did fix up... You know how we slabbed that area in the nether? Well, before, while I was AFKing, I had the same issue. Because the mobs were still spawning. So I have... Let's just say fixed up the area and used some carpet. I do need to do more, but let's just update you on what we've done. I should have taken you down here before. So, I'll just go into free cam to show you guys. We closed in the entire area that was all here. Took probably about an hour and a half or so to do that. Got rid of all those slabs and replaced it with carpet. Even halfway down the stairs. That way mobs and all of that aren't spawning on them as well. Then making their way up. I've still, like I said, I've got more to do. So I will carpet the rest, but... These slabs are working, and then back here as well, we've got more to do. But I guess for this entire area, it won't 
affect the farm as much as what it was. So, mission successful. I'm not going to worry too much because that farm is, well, very efficient. That's just to update you on that. I do have to go back to the fortress. I've got to get some wither skulls. I might focus on that next episode. So we can fight the wither, get a beacon. We've got so much to do, guys. So much to do. I still have to go to the end. I want to fight the ender dragon, get some wings. Got to get some netherite. Well, we've got some netherite, but I want to get some more. So much progress to make and not enough time to do it. But we'll make it happen, guys. We'll make it happen. And our area is coming along. Didn't really make any progress to this area in this episode. But in the next one, hope, I'm hoping we can get some sort of... Hopefully a storage build. Like a storage house. I'm thinking maybe in this little hill here. That way we can get our storage sorted. Because we have a lot of stuff stored and not organized. And it's getting a bit choked up. And you guys know how that goes. So after a few weeks or so of having a starter house naturally you need somewhere to store all your stuff so we'll get to that hopefully next episode and get to that wither if we get lucky and have enough time but with all that my friends better go do some more work as always make some more progress go out and get a few things you know how it goes guys you know how it goes but with all that i want to say that i hope you guys are well and i hope that you guys are safe and i hope you guys are enjoying the series like seriously, drop some feedback for your boy Stumps. If you guys are watching this video, if you've made it this far, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think so far on anything. Got some opinions on our home, the series. Maybe it's something to do with me, the way that I talk. Even if it's negative feedback, guys, I'll take it. With all that, much love, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.